What is going on? Diamond Rice here coming at you with another video. In today's video, we have here a tutorial. This is a new tutorial on how to use your NVIDIA GPU encoder on Adobe Premiere using the NVIDIA's GPU uh, hardware encoder, which is called N NVENC. Now, this e NVENC is only available on NVIDIA GPUs above the 600 uh, series. So GTX 600 and above is uh, will be supported on this card. Anything below that particular series of cards will not be supported as the H.264 encoder is not available on those particular GPUs. Now on this forum page where you see it, please read and make sure you understand where you're coming from for the rules and software requirements that are indicated with this. Adobe Premiere Pro is, is the only thing supported on on Windows side of things. You cannot use this on the Mac OS X, unfortunately, because they don't support uh, the SDK file that's, or the SDK of the N NVIDIA NVNC files. So in that case, you have to make sure that uh, all of those requirements are set. You have a GPU that's over the G uh, GTX 650 and above, like it says. Read you, you. All you gotta do is read behind all this uh, manuals. You gotta read. You gotta read all this to make sure that each particular file and uh, download and everything needs to be installed per per se which one. So, in this case, uh, you need to download the actual e NVNC file, pretty much the export file, which basically shows up as a well, basically you have to extract it first. It comes in a zip file. You need to extract it using pzip, 7zip, Renoir, whatever you like. Uh, go into it, make a folder. Uh, since I am personally using the 64-bit version of a Windows operating system and also the Premiere Pro, uh, obviously I would use x64, but if you're on a 32-bit system, try using x86. That should technically work for most systems, but in my case, there is only one file in here, which is called NVNC export.prm. Now, th this PRM file is an Adobe Premiere file that needs to be put into a particular place. Now, under the guide, it does it actually does put it uh, where you want it to, or where the location is, but it's for a CS6. Since I use Adobe Premiere CC, the newer version, uh, each particular file is located inside of Adobe Premiere's uh, program files. So under program files, you're, so basically under your program files, under the Adobe, uh, under the Adobe uh, folder, in it you find, uh, you will find actually a lot of your Adobe uh, pro programs depending on which one you use. In my case, I use Media Encoder and Premiere Pro. So in Premiere Pro, I use the 2017 uh, edition right now, so I open that one. I go under here, you go under Plugins, go under Common, and then you drag that particular NVNC export file into it. That's how you install it. That's how it will get the export uh, files shown here. And if you notice inside, if I go, obviously this is alphabetical order, it's currently right here, as you can see inside uh, inside the folder. Same thing goes in for the actual media encoder. Basically queue up a lot of videos at once and then uses that media encoder to basically batch batch uh, encode those files whenever you need to. So same idea, uh, uh, Adobe, Pro, Adobe Premiere, or Adobe, Premiere uh, Adobe Folder, Adobe Media Encoder uh, 2017 or whatever version you're using. Go under Plugins and Common, same idea. Drag that EVNC export file under there. And if you look under here again, under the native thing, it's right here. So that's basically it. That's the installation of the actual progress. Now, if you're if you want to a uh, make extract the video into an MP4 or an uh, MKV file, uh, you the the plugin itself is not supported, and you actually need to download a, per, a couple of files. So if you need to download uh, the M MKV extension file extension for videos, uh, you need to go down here to this link. It's the MKV tool toolnext dot download file. I'll leave the links in the description and also up here. You can show up on the screen. You'll know that you'll see when I when I put it in for post processing. So you have that one for MKV files. If you want MP4 files, uh, you need to download the one of these things called a G uh, G pack. So basically, it's a open source media project allows you to have these multiple uh, different programs. The one you're looking for is MP4 box. Now MP4 box, like it says, it will be allows you to basically make an MP4 file out of the out of what the GPU is being uh, outputted in the NVNC, pretty much. So. Once you have those downloaded and you have it extracted to somewhere. Now the extraction does not really matter where you actually put it. Uh, the GPack as an example actually installs it into the, uh, it installs into your actual program files. Uh, GPack will do that one. Uh, the Nero ACC in codec, which is basically the audio, is basically an audio codec for, 
for support because uh, the only thing that's supported on the uh, audio service or for the plug the plugin itself is only PCM, which is useful, but uh, it may cause some problems in YouTube and Twitch when you're uploading the video, the exact video. So. Uh, I have it download. I have. I'll leave this link as too. This one is for the AAC, the AAC uh, audio codec. So once all of this is all installed or extracted or whatever it needs to be, uh, the Nero one, as an example, can just be placed anywhere you want. Documents, folders, documents, you name it. Uh, you you can you can figure out a place for it. It just says as long as you know where the actual file is installed. Because right now inside of Adobe Premiere, now that everything has been installed. Uh, you will basically get into one of the export symbols. So as an example, let's say, for example, I'm finishing up the Last of Us uh, episodes for my editing. And I'll say I'm finished. I need, you know, I want to go into the next part of the thing. I hit export. So obviously file export media or, you know, control M, you know, whatever you like it. It will show up as the export setting menu. Now in your export setting menu, uh, you will find under your format, if you go under here in the side, you see your drag down box, you should see in VNC export and then whatever version that you downloaded. So in my, for example, I'm using the 1.11-J3 uh, version of the files, but you can use each, depending on which one software, like Windows 7, Windows 8, I have heard problems but behind uh, ver behind version 1.11. Uh, they've been having issues with Windows 7 and some other ones. So go back to that forum. Make sure you download the correct ones. If any of them don't work, maybe there's there's probably a working one inside those forums. So you have to, you have to do your own research. You have to go figure out which one of those won't crash, which one will actually, won't, uh, will actually do it correctly and such. Okay, so under here, once the format is set to EVNC, you can actually see under the video tab will be the one that will be defaulted. And you can see under my NVIDIA GPU selection, I have here my GTX Titan. It has how many VRAM, uh, how much VRAM is installed and how much is, needs, uh, is free. The compute level of which EV EVNC is being supported and also the GPU driver that I'm currently using, which is the current driver right now with 376.33, which is the current driver as of the time of this video. And then obviously the CUDA, uh, the CUDA version that allows you to use the NVNC as well as using CUDA itself. So it is a CUDA enabled card. So if you look under the NVNC info, this is what it shows up. Um, you don't need to know pretty much any of this. Uh, you want it, you if you need some more help, obviously you can look it through those forums. It's just showing you that the actual uh, export file is showing this particular part of the program. So that's nice. Now the config, it's up to you. Um, I might get into this into a later video. I'm not entirely sure, but for sure I'm going to make a benchmarking video of pretty much comparing this particular plugin versus the standard H.264 encoder that that the uh, format has been uh, selected inside of Adobe Premiere. But uh, you can see my settings down here. I'm not going to go into it. This is the ones I currently use. Now, if you need help or if you want to use it, each one comes with a description that's going to be showing up. Um, so each one will be very useful for which one you would like to use. So obviously you, this is your under under your discretion under what you want to do i'm personally doing pc and other games for this so that's my personal opinion and my personal settings for which one i want to use but you can look to the description you can see which one you would like to use and such like that now obviously uh you want to make sure that everything is correct you want to make sure those particular editing files are correct uh, once that export is done, you can, it works exactly like in any way you want it to. So you can basically change it to however you like. Uh, I have my personal presets. You can honestly preset. You can make your own preset if you want it as too. So as an example for me, I would actually make my video. Uh, I would make this video here. I would use MKV. That's my personal opinion, and that's my personal one that I use. It's useful to use it to upload and stuff. So as an example on mine, I'm going to be putting in this is... Lakeside Resort, so that's going to be part episode 17 as an example. As you notice, I'm going through all my other episodes and have a lot of them. So, right there, save it, obviously. Depending on how you want to do it, obviously. This could be different to whatever, however you like it. So, uh, as soon as that goes in, just hit export and your video should be exporting. Now, uh, obviously, since I'm running the computer, this might take a bit while, so I'm not going to go into this, and my video will probably be crashing regardless because of the fact that it's the encoder itself is in, is overloaded because I'm using it recording at the same time. So I'm gonna I'm gonna see how much the actual video load is actually using because I'm gonna pop open my GPU Z right now, and if you notice, uh, 
obviously core clock memory clock is increasing temperatures increasing fans speeds are going up gpu load is definitely good should shouldn't be as much increasing it depends on how much the load of the gpu is going to be running the one that you're looking for is actually the video engine load which is 99 it should be over 100 or it should be over 80 percent over and it should be staying at a 99 percent because that's the only thing that the card is actually going to be using so it is very useful on your gpu to basically is it lies dormant pretty much when you're not playing any games or anything or if you're recording like my like i am as an example so if you notice that my obs is an example you can see that i am currently using in the recording section if you go under output and the recording i am running the nvnc as well so that's why i'm having encoding issues so if, sorry about that if it's crashing but that's how it is that's how it, that's going to be working just as long as the video engine load is running it should be good if that runs at 99 percent, then you know that the actual video is itself is recording so I hope that this video tutorial will actually help you out. It will basically help you export your videos faster. That's how much it's helping me out. Um, I'm going to make a comparison video comparing this particular one and also the standard H.264. Look for that in another video. I will see you guys in the next one later.